And through the magic of screen recording, we're back. As you look at my bird, you, you will notice that those five points have now become one point. And I just wanted to reinforce a couple of things for you. One of the reasons that they merged into one is I have my snapping turned on. If you go up to view, snapping, make sure that you have snap align, snap to guides, and snap to objects all checked. That way, when you drag those points on top of one, one another, they'll merge and become a single point. You'll also notice that right down here, I took away an additional point. The reason for that was that the fewer points you have, the smoother your shape tween will be. I was able to get rid of that point by finding my pen tool, depressing it, and going down to the Delete Anchor Point tool. There's also a keyboard shortcut for you there if you would like to use that. And I simply grabbed that and I came down, hovered over it, ho hovered over it, and clicked. So those are a couple of a couple of tens about a couple of tips <laughs> about getting those points to be what you need them to be. So let's work on the rest of the bird here. I'm going to scroll out just a bit, zoom out, excuse me, one more time. I'm just hitting Control or Command Plus. Then I held down my Shift key. When I held down my Shift key, that's when the hand tool appeared so I can move this object across my screen. You'll notice that the fill on the bird went completely away when I was working on it. That's okay. You can always put it back. It's not a problem. So I'm going to grab my paint bucket tool, and I'm going to simply click on the inside, and there my bird has the fill again. So let's see what has happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> okay, that was sarcasm. <laughs> this is definitely sarcasm. Um, so I still have some problems, even though I got rid of those points. Now we need to move into the realm of the ultimate weapon when it comes to shape tweens. The ultimate weapon is shape hints. It's kind of like putting a pin in a point and telling Flash, move this point to that point, rather than what you're currently doing and trying to figure things out. So in order to do that, you need to click on the first frame, go up to Modify, Shape, Add Shape Hint. You'll notice that there's an up arrow, this symbol, and an H. Remember, I'm on a Mac. So this means Shift, Command, and if you're on a PC, that means Control, H. So one more time, for a PC, Shift, Control, H, or for a Mac, Shift, Control, Shift, Command, <laughs> H. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to hit Shift Command H and I have a new little shape hint right here. Now because of your screen re resolutions you may not be able to see the letter that's inserted inside this. There's a letter A here. I'm going to drag this letter A to the left corner then I'm going to click on the first frame of the bird and add my first point. So what I'm thinking about is where does point A go to the best? And it's not up here. If you notice that that point A kind of migrated up to here. I actually want that point A to be here. So let me drag him right there and let's go back and see what happens. Oh wow! Is that so much smoother? Oh man, I'm loving that. Seriously loving that. So there are some tips for you for your shape tweens. Be patient. Take some time. Now I made looking that I made placing that shape hint look super easy. What you didn't see behind the scenes was that I spent an additional 30 minutes playing around with this to see what I could get to be the best, smoothest motion. So it may be time consuming, but the end product is so much better. I wish you all I wish you all happy hunting with your shape hints and I'll see you in the next series.